marketing positions. We'd like to say it's going to be simple throughout the day, but we have three officials. Two of the three must agree. Sometimes we have delays, and we'll keep you updated uh, on the score as it occurs. So right now, in the blue, McCoy. In the red, Thompson, and we are underway. Well, I saw Thompson score the last three points of their first match. It seemed that he kind of solved McCoy's defensive riddle. We'll see if he can get on track early in this match. But it was McCoy who struck first. Tremendous mobility, good leg attack, and very good on the mat, Russ. He's got a great gut wrench. And, of course, one of the other issues that can uh, rise in international wrestling is if the wrestlers are not aggressive, the officials can call one or the other for what's called passivity then the other wrestler gets an opportunity to either stay on the feet, continue to wrestle, or to put the other wrestler down on the mat. We see it a lot in international. It becomes a factor. The reason is to make the wrestlers be aggressive. Somebody should be doing something throughout the contest. And it also creates an opportunity to score points. Passivities are stalling calls. Cautions are penalties. And of course, all of those can be factors in very tight, particularly tie matches. McCoy, the more mobile of these two athletes. Tally Thompson, much more deliberate with his approach. McCoy, very fluid. And there we have our first passivity call, and it's going to be against Tally Thompson. So they'll go down on the mat, what we call parterre position. And McCoy will have the opportunity to try to work some sort of a turn here to get some of those back exposure points. Kerry McCoy was a three-time All-American in college, as was Tally Thompson. So these guys are not new to success. There's a gut wrench. And the criteria is 90 degrees with your opponent's shoulders. McCoy gets in there. And he was able not only to get the two for the back exposure, but if you hold him there for a five count, you get an additional point. And there's the score now, 3-0 in favor of McCoy. Rush, you mentioned his college career. McCoy was a two-time NCAA champion for Penn State. And right now he's an assistant at Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Holly Thompson also a national champion for the University of Nebraska. One minute remaining in the first period. No score uh, or three points right now for Kerry McCoy. And once again, three points can end the match in regulation. You need at least three. McCoy has gotten there. Now let's see if he's going to shut down as he did in his first bout or if he got that rust out because he'd been sitting around watching the challenge tournament which Thompson won to face McCoy. Maybe now he's a little bit looser. He and looked good right there. They stopped him because they stepped out of bounds, so they're not going to allow the point to be scored there by McCoy. In spite of the fact that coming on top, Tolly Thompson had stepped out of bounds. They bring him back to the center. McCoy, the more experienced internationally, he's been on four world teams for the United States and Tolly being the underdog, probably a factor here, Jeff. I think so. Tolly actually retired after his attempt to make the 2000 Olympic team, but that fire still burned inside him. He came back, and what a performance through the challenge tournament. Everyone thought Steve Mako was going to be the one to face McCoy, but Tolly Thompson handled Mako in the finals of the challenge tournament. And the big man end the first period with Kerry McCoy ahead of Tolly Thompson, three to nothing. Welcome back for USA Olympic Wrestling Trials. Second period of this match at 264 and a half pounds. That's the heavyweight division. Kerry McCoy there in the blue singlet against Tolly Thompson in the red singlet. McCoy ahead three to nothing as we enter this second three minute period. There's a shot and a takedown to extend his lead to four to nothing. He's and to get him wrench. again. Now try to hold him. And he will get the bonus point. Seven to nothing now you score in favor of McCoy. Well, he's running away with this one. This one to decide this position on the Olympic team, the heavyweight berth being contested here. He's out ahead seven to nothing with Still over two minutes remaining in the second period, and I don't think there's any question in his mind that uh, he was ready for these matches. Oh, yeah, McCoy has put distance between him and the rest of the heavyweight competition in the United States in freestyle. A superb athlete, a hard trainer, 
assistant coach down at Lehigh under Greg Strobel, the 2000 Olympic coach. Speed of McCoy. Tolly dropped in for a leg shot. McCoy just spun around. That's Greg Strobel on the left. Hachiro Uishi, who coached McCoy at Penn State, the assistant coach in the corner. We see a lot of strategy changes in the wrestling when we get to the end of a match when you're ahead because, you know, we do see those matches where somebody makes a mistake and gets pinned and ends it all. So, the uh, seasoned veterans really don't take chances on doing extracurricular stuff when they're well in command of a match. But the only chance for Tully Thompson right now is to get after something and not sure that he's capable of mustering that against uh, Kerry McCoy. Uh, he needs to get chest to chest, something in tight, an upper body throw where he can put McCoy directly to his back and look for a fall. But give Thompson credit, he had retired and he came back. He didn't make the 2000 Olympic team. And the dream stayed with him, burned inside him. He came back and he made it all the way to the finals. But uh, he's running into the toughest athlete right now in heavyweight the United States has. And, you know, McCoy with this kind of performance sets himself up well for a performance in Athens. Holly Thompson uh, right takes that parterre position, but locking on the gut wrench, moving it right up and down the chest here, trying to find a position where right perhaps action. he can turn McCoy, but really not having any success. Of course, sweaty and wet right now, making it even more difficult to get a solid lock. Thirty seconds to go. Seven zero for McCoy. Back on a single leg. He's not holding back here. And he just handles that so easily. Tolly Thompson never even able to get into a full sprawl to defend. McCoy very mobile, powerful. Wow, great performance. He's done it. He's made the Olympic team. And a lot of effort and energy put into this moment. He's going to share it with his coaches a little bit before he gets recognized at the center of the mat. They played a role for him, as every athlete will tell you. It's not a lonesome journey. You got a lot of people playing the game with you. So Kerry McCoy wins this second decision, eight to nothing, and very, very dominant throughout this match, taking charge from beginning to end. Jeff. Now he started it off with a gut wrench, able to turn Tolly Thompson. And he didn't just roll him through, he held him there for a five count, got the bonus point. And he did it again later in the match. And look at that technique, driving the knee under, hipping him through with the bridge, and then the power to hold him there, the confidence to hold him there. Scoring again on a leg attack. Very, very powerful, very explosive for a heavyweight. He loves this moment. It's been a long journey. 